Hello and thank you for joining me for your daily reading. So as the title on the thumbnail suggests, this is all about healing your past trauma, okay? So if you're not currently dealing with any sort of ongoing trauma, then I can tell you right now that this is not going to be your reading, okay? Um, so this is going to be really similar to like a shadow work type reading, okay? Um, where we take a deep dive into all of the things that are keeping you stuck, how that's affecting your life, and more importantly, what you can do about it, okay? Um, so again, if none of that is of interest to you, then this is not going to be your reading this time round, okay? Right, so let's get into this energy for you then. How can our collective heal their past trauma, please? What is going on for our collective dealing with their past trauma? Okay, I feel another, another, yeah. Okay, that's better. Right, so I'm just going to deal out the cards here for you and I'm going to take you through it all step by step, okay? And there's another four along the top. <laughs> it's difficult to do this in a way where you can see everything and it's still going to look nice and neat on the table. Okay. Nah, that'll do. Right. So, current overall energy, the world. Beautiful. The world energy. Um, this one, it's all about taking any and all lessons from the past and carrying them forward. Okay, closing out old cycles, uh, wiping the slate clean, beginning a brand new chapter of your life. Feeling enthusiastic, feeling definitely hopeful and far more optimistic now than you've probably ever felt, okay? That's a really good starting point, really, really good starting point. Um, it's also recognising that you're older and wiser, okay, with the world. And do keep in mind as well that the world... It is a card of victory, okay? So whatever this trauma is, you're recognizing that, and it sounds cheesy, it hasn't broken you. Um, I'm not going to say that it's made you stronger because that is patronizing. But what it did do is it gave you uh, survival skills. That's what it gave you. And those survival skills, you're going to be carrying forward into your new chapter, okay? So again, I sincerely do apologize if any of that sounds patronizing. It isn't supposed to sound patronizing, okay? Um, I have to just give the message as it comes through, all right? Um, so, how has this trauma impacted on your life? The King of Cups, yeah, of course it has. It's impacted on your ability to be um, emotionally open and emotionally available. Now, some of you are parents, okay? Others, you're not. Others are afraid to be a parent. So the message parent is coming through in the seahorse symbology, okay? Spirit wants you to know that you are or you will be an excellent parent seahorse energy right um i want to say self-acceptance as well your ability to accept yourself fully and wholly has undoubtedly been affected by the trauma that you've experienced but i can also see in this energy that you're working incredibly hard as well to break specific cycles um, when it comes down to being emotionally available for those who are needing you to be okay your your dependents right okay what emotions do you carry because of this trauma justice yeah yeah your traumatic experiences have instilled you with a strong sense of justice you cannot stand injustice of any kind, of any 
type. And in fact, I'm feeling that that's the, the quickest route to anger for you is whenever you see any kind of injustice being done. Um, so again, that's not, listen, that's not necessarily a bad thing, okay? Some people might mi misread that as you being perhaps self-serving or entitled in some way, shape or form. Um, but here's the thing, having a strong sense of injustice is not necessarily a bad thing, in spite of what other people might have you believe, okay? We need more people in the world who are going to kick up a fuss every time there is an injustice being done, right? We need more people like that. Um, I mean, the, the planet is in such a state right now because there aren't enough people who are willing to put their neck out on the line at any time they see an injustice taking place, okay? The vast majority of people these days, as you will know, would much prefer to bury their heads in the sand and pretend nothing's going on, nothing's wrong, or they've got this, um, well, I'm all right, Jack attitude. Do you know what I mean? So to have this strong sense of justice, you can actually make that work in your favor when it's channeled correctly. And that's the key words, isn't it? When it's channeled correctly. So finding healthy ways to channel this um, desire to, to see the right things being done, that could make you a very powerful individual. And if there are enough people who do that, just imagine how much better the planet would be. Okay. Right. Um, card number three. How does this trauma affect your relationships with others? The Queen of Coins. The Queen of Coins is an interesting one because that's uh, safety, stability, security, it's growth, it's abundance, it's self-sufficiency. And I do feel that the key word with that one for your energy collective is self-sufficiency. It's like you've learned not to rely or depend upon others. You had to learn how to be self-sufficient in any way, in any way that, that you could think of. And don't forget the Queen of Coins. Let's not look at gender. It's not about the gender. It's about the polarization of the feminine or masculine principle. With this being the Queen, you can still be a man or masculine and resonate with this Queen of Coins energy. Creativity. You've had to be creative when it comes down to being self-sufficient. You've had to be creative in getting the job, whatever the job is or was, done. You, you've had to really think, like, again, I'm, I'm sorry for the whole um, <laughs> cliche speak. Blue sky thinking, think outside the box. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I mean, come on, you, you can see... You can see that that light there, you have had to be creative, definitely. You, ha you have had to think outside the box. I, I can hear a whole bunch of people cringing right now. Um, but yeah, that's that energy. You've learned not to um, <clears throat> be dependent upon other people. Now, again, that in of itself is not necessarily a bad thing. Okay, it, it genuinely isn't. You need to think about the extremes. Okay, it's really, really important that you keep everything in perspective and in balance. Okay, so being self sufficient is amazing. That is a fantastic skill to have. Again, not everybody is in possession of that particular skill. Okay. You, you've been out there, you've seen people who are just basically expecting this, that and the next for free, you know, expecting handouts and expecting everyone else to run around after them. You know it, right? That's the extreme opposite of that Queen of Coins energy. Now, bearing in mind, you, you, you can't take that to the other extreme, which is to struggle with absolutely everything all by yourself. Do you know what I mean? That would be taking it to the other extreme. 
So remember to keep everything in balance. And honestly, you're going to be golden because, again, because of these skills that, that you have, this is all just now about applying those skills that you had to learn through awful experiences, but applying those skills now in a healthy, balanced way. Okay. Um, how does this trauma affect the way that you see yourself? Eight of Wands. Yeah. So you see yourself as someone who is uh, very determined. You see yourself as someone who is very resilient also, okay? Because the Eight of Wands can basically get through anything, right? Eight of Wands, don't be under any illusions. The Eight of Wands can be an incredibly powerful energy, okay? Um, traditionally, it's all about swiftness, decisiveness, action. Uh, in more modern days, it's associated with like air travel, messages across the internet sort of thing, okay? Um, but again, it's a very powerful energy because it can be quite forceful as well. So you do see yourself as uh, very driven, maybe even very ambitious. Again, the word ambitious, not a dirty word. It really, really isn't if channeled in a healthy way. Okay, um, whenever you're faced with a challenge or an obstacle, you're just like that, nah, fuck that shit, I'm getting through that. <laughs> One way or the other, I'm getting through that. Okay, so yeah, you do see yourself as being able to, to tackle pretty much anything, um, which again, like, I mean, y you've definitely got your own back here, which is fantastic. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, okay, what do you need to do in order to process and release your trauma? The Seven of Swords. Interesting. So, normally in a reading, and again, context is everything, and we must read within context. If we do not read within context, we miss the point. Normally, the Seven of Swords can indicate trickery, deceit, deception, lies, omission, uh, like a thief in the night. You do know that there is another side to the Seven of Swords, which is doing things differently. Okay, it's all about someone's perspective. Is this individual a thief? Or are they simply sneaking back in to take back the swords that originally belonged to them in the first place? And they're sneaking in, breaking in, rather than causing a fight, rather than causing a war. Okay. So, again, try not to focus too, too much on what other, on how other people might see you, okay? Because not everybody is going to understand your intent. The most important thing is you know what your intent is, right? In order to release the trauma, number one, it's time for you to take back what belonged to you in the first place, okay? That could be your confidence. That could be actual physical property, Okay, it could be a skill or a talent that you used to have and perhaps you were bullied out of it, right? You might have been incredibly spiritual. You could have been a really gifted tower reader, but had to give it up because you were surrounded by nasty trolls and bullies, by people who made you feel like you were doing something wrong. For example, okay, it's time for you to take back what belonged to you from the get-go, okay? And to do it in a way that is non-abrasive, right? This is Spirit saying there is a better way to do things. Okay, um, what lessons can you learn from your past experiences? Faith. How interesting. In traditional tarot, this would be the Hierophant. 
So the lessons that you can learn from your past experiences, I feel that this is saying to definitely have more faith in your own abilities. Okay. Um, get back in touch with your more spiritual side, your gifted side. I'm telling you, some of you watching have got like, but, but, well, what they would say a God-given gift or a God-given talent. I prefer to use the word universe because it's just more inclusive, okay? So you've got a natural gift, a natural talent, definitely. And you have to reclaim that because that's a part of you. That is a part of you. And it, it belongs to you. So it's time for you to reclaim that, okay? This is all about not allowing the behaviors of other people towards you to shake up how you feel about yourself and how you see yourself, okay? The chariot. This is coming in in how you can begin to move past your experiences. And isn't it appropriate that it is the chariot, which is all about willpower, determination, drive. It's also about victory and success. Moving on, moving forward. This is Spirit saying to you, only look in your, in your rear view mirror every so often. Don't stare into your rear view mirror as you're driving forward. Think about where it is that you're going. Watch where it is that you're going. Pay attention to where it is that you're going. And understand as well with that being a card of victory. In fact, you've got two cards of victory out, the world and the chariot. You're already a winner. Even if you're not feeling like it. You already are a winner. You already are coming on in leaps and bounds. You already have made so, so much progress. Even if you're not truly, truly feeling it. Okay. How will your life change when you finally process, grieve, and then release your trauma? Funnily enough, it's the Five of Cups. How your life will change is going to be really interesting. And the reason why I'm saying that is because this Five of Cups, this is not your energy. This is an external energy. This is the energy of someone who tried to break you. This is the energy of someone who tried to make you every bit as miserable as they are. I'm hearing that some of you... Um, that there's something here to do with an alcoholic who tried to destroy you. Or perhaps you yourself might have been the alcoholic. You might have turned to alcohol. This external energy is saying that the one who wanted nothing more than to see you fail. That is what they themselves are currently manifesting in their own lives. Because remember, what you put out into the universe, the universe responds to that. Okay? It does respond to that. So they are going to be creating misery in their own lives because they were adamant that you we were going to be miserable and that they were going to be the ones to make sure that you'd be miserable. This is someone who has wasted their entire life or will waste their entire life trying to hold you back, keep you back and keep you down. And it's not going to work. This is what they're creating. Who will you become when you let go of your trauma? seven of wands someone who is more determined to stand up for themselves someone who is determined to keep 
their possession in life. So what we see is you've worked so hard to build yourself up and then you're going to be fully on board and prepared to stand up for yourself so that you can keep that new possession that you've worked so hard for. You're going to be okay with maintaining your own personal boundaries. Who are you going to be? Someone who's not afraid to speak up. Someone who's not afraid to stand out as well. Someone who's not afraid to do what needs to be done. Seven of Wands. Beautiful. Can I have a healing message for our collective, please? Can I have a healing message for our collective? <laughs> this deck is so awkward to shuffle. And it's huge as well. I mean, look. The size comparison. Crazy. Right. Oh, okay. So you've got four four healing messages so again only take the messages that resonate specifically for you okay right so the first one it says an enchanted world is available to you if you want it just as the oak tree is hidden in its seed the god or goddess within you oh the god or goddess is within you i thought that i was like that doesn't make sense just as the oak tree is hidden within its seed, the god or goddess is within you. Yeah. Reason devoid of feeling is merely harsh judgment. So listen to your heart and move beyond the boundaries that you have placed around yourself. It is time to step into your power and create a world of bliss. Okay. And then your second message. It looks like the chakras there. Old feelings are resurfacing. Okay, so, so that's why this is coming out then. That's why this is coming out in your read. Um, because more recently, there might have been a period of uh, what I call a period of regression, where old memories just randomly pop up out of nowhere, and then it completely ruins your day or your week or your month. Okay, someone here has been grappling with those haunting old memories randomly popping up and they're trying to make sense of them. Okay, that's why this is coming out in your energy. Old feelings are resurfacing and again, you find yourself on an emotional roller coaster. Yeah, do not fight it. Okay, instead, allow these feelings to surface without judging them. They're neither good nor bad. They're simply a part of you. Own them, embrace them, and love them. Bless the past and be grateful for the deep and profound healing that is taking place. So that's why those old memories are coming out. That's why they're popping up to the top again. Because it, it, it's, uh, it's part of the healing process. It's part of you ascending to the next level, basically. Okay. Uh, your third message, beautiful. It's indicating to me that that's the dawn of a new day. Help is on its way. The raging sea will soon abate and a great light will heal your heart. So you've got um, spiritual support that either is coming in for you or has already come in, come in for you, okay? This is a time of deep, profound, and positive transformation, but courage, strength, and patience are required. You're supported by a sea of love. Yeah. So the water symbology in tarot is all about spirituality and emotions, okay? So you've been dealing with a rough sea of emotions that have stemmed from old memories floating back up to the surface. Okay. 
and then your fourth message there, there's um whenever you see nakedness i i had to put these bloody stars on them because of the the youtube ai kept flagging my videos for rudeness um but it shows vulnerability okay whenever you see naked people in cards it's all about vulnerability so yeah you you might have felt really exposed and vulnerable of late okay right you're entering a deep emotional time in which you ponder the deeper spiritual questions of life this is a time of self-discovery that deepens your connection to mother earth to your friends and your family or those that, that you would consider your family at times your emotions may overflow but this is a good thing for these precious moments bring a great gift of healing yeah yeah everything about this energy has all been about difficult emotions of the past so that you can go through this deep healing uh and, and when they say transformation like it literally is it's because you're ascending What else for our collective, please? Thank you. 10, 11, take action. Hope, new beginning, fresh start, lifestyle, purpose. And there you go, spiritual awakening. This is a call to action to move forwards. The sooner that you get going, the sooner you will accomplish what it is you set out to do. Those with patience will eventually reap the rewards of their perseverance. Yeah. Yeah, don't let anybody drag you back down. Okay. Right, so to conclude your read, as always, I'm using a cheeky deck um this does come with a bit of a warning okay if you're not into swearing or sarcasm then of course you don't have to listen okay i just absolutely love using these funny decks at the end of the read because laughter is a very powerful medicine okay and to be fair we shouldn't be taking ourselves too seriously all of the time anyway okay What's your guidance for our collective here please whoa and that one as well okay all right let's see the present moment is a fucking amazing open up your eyeballs and look around even if you happen to be in the shittiest of shit times there's probably something beautiful to notice right this very second it could be that babies have eyelashes and how could babies get any fucking cuter than having baby eyelashes or maybe it's just that you took a breath and you didn't think that you'd be able to do that you did it amaze balls you fucking breathed okay there are ways to fail at everything in life number one complain about everything <laughs> number two blame others for your problems and another and number three never be grateful so today's to do's number one don't complain about shit number two take full responsibility for every single thing in your life number three be grateful for shit and tonight's to do's look at yourself in the mirror Number two, see how hot you are for yourself. And number three, be grateful for your bad self. Uh, okay. Be the person you needed when you were a kid. Yeah. Yeah, so for some of you, this, this entire read is going to be about having to re-parent yourself. Did you need someone who protected you? Did you need unconditional love? Yeah, well, we all do, don't we? Did you need more attention? Did you need more praise? Did you need to know someone had your back? Well, you're a big kid now and you can do all of that for that little pipsqueak that is still living inside your rib cage. Yeah. Be the pedant that you never had here for some of you. And to thine own ass be true. 
The most common thing that holds people back from health and happiness is an unwillingness to be honest with themselves. True story. It's been scientifically proven. Owning who you are, what you are, what you struggle with and where you want to be is the beginning of self-love and freedom. Kind of like when Sir Mix-a-Lot finally admitted that he likes big butts and he couldn't lie. Well, his life blossomed after that. <laughs> okay. So to own our own ass be true. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Beautiful message there, Collective. I just genuinely hope that that reading has helped out someone, okay? Um, as always, you only take what resonates specifically for you. Do not force anything to fit, right? Uh, personal readings, they are available on my website, which is phoenixkiatarot.com. The link for that is in my description box below. Don't forget to go check out the other daily readings or any of your uh, zodiac sign readings as well. Uh, they, they should all be in the links that pop up at the end of this video. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in the next one. Bye.